SDS Polyacrylamide Gel Electrophoresis. Casting an SDS page gel for separating proteins on the basis of size, you require the casting stand and a rubber, a casting frame, the green cutting tool, a buffer dam, two types of glass plates, a spacer and a short plate, an SDS gel comb, two different pH of tris concentrations, CBB destaining solution, CBB staining solution, apps, temed, acrylamide or bisacrylamide, milliQ water, 10% SDS, isopropanol, funnel with a filter, big plastic Petri dish, your samples, sample buffer, a protein ladder, one times page electrophoresis buffer, large glass Petri dish, light box, the SDS electrophoresis system with a power supply. Place a rubber on the casting stand. There are two glass plates needed for casting a gel, a spacer and a short plate. The glasses should be cleaned thoroughly before use with 70% ethanol. Put gloves on. The materials used here are toxic, so work carefully. Place the spacer and the short plate against each other so that there is a gap between them. Put the glass plates together in the casting frame. Turn the clamps so that the glass plates are pressed together. The feet of the frame have to be on the bottom. Now place the casting frame with the glass plates in the casting stand. If necessary, fit in a pipette tip in between for extra pressure. Make sure that the glass plates do not leak and are properly positioned. Make a 10% solution with amps. This should always be made just before use. In addition, you need Tris HCL pH 8.8 and Tris HCL pH 6.8, mini key water, 10% SDS, acrylamide, bisacrylamide, amps and temed. Prepare the running gel in a fume hood. Calculate the volumes that are required for making the gel. Prepare the required volumes into a tube. Add the temed and the amps last, as this will cause the solution to polymerize. Shake the solution by turning upside down two times. Pipette the running gel solution between the glass plates to about 10 to 15 millimeters under the shortest glass plate. Try to avoid air bubbles. Add a few drops of isopropanol as this makes the gel set in a straight line. Then leave the gel to polymerize. While waiting, make the stacking gel. Calculate the volumes that are needed for making the stacking gel. Pipette the required volumes into a tube. Add the temed and the amps last, as this will cause the solution to polymerize. After the running gel has polymerized, the isopropanol is removed with a filter paper. Pipette the stacking gel solution on top of the running gel. Place the comb between the glass plates and remove any liquid that may overflow straight away. Leave the gel to polymerize. When the gel is ready, it is possible to store it in electrophoresis buffer in the cold room. When the gel is completely polymerized, the casting frame can be removed from the casting stand. Open the clamps and remove the glass plates carefully from the casting frame. Place the gel with the spacer to the front and a buffer dam in the frame and click to close the frame. Note how the gel is positioned. Place the frame with the gels in the outer chamber. Make sure that the inner chamber is placed correctly in the outer chamber so that the poles can be connected. Fill the inner chamber with one times page electrophoresis buffer. If the inner chamber does not leak, then continue to fill the outer chamber up to the height of the gels. Remove the comb carefully from the gel. To prepare your sample, it is first boiled for five minutes in a heating block or in a water bath. Then the sample is spun down briefly by a pulse spin. Between 15 and 20 microliters of each sample can be loaded. Prepare the samples into the wells and take care not to let the samples overflow into neighboring wells. In addition to the samples, load a protein ladder on the gel. This is five microliters in a well. When everything has been loaded onto the gel, the lid is put on the chamber. 
make sure that the poles are lined up correctly, red to red and black to black. Attach the chamber to the power supply. Turn on the power and run at 100 volts until the samples are completely in the stacking gel. From this point, the gel can be run at 150 to 200 volts. When the ladder has run far enough, with the bands adequately spaced, the power can be turned off. Remove the lid from the chamber. Remove the frame from the chamber and click the frame open. Take out the glass plates. Remove the short plate with the green cutting device and put the gel in a large Petri dish. It is also possible to remove the stacking gel with the tool. Pour in CBB staining solution so that the gel is completely immersed. Remove the gel from the CBB stain and place the gel in the de-staining solution until it is completely immersed. The CBB staining solution can be poured back in the bottle using a filter and funnel. After de-staining the gel, it can be viewed on a light box.